Bob Walk with you today. And uh, Bob, last night the Pirates, a 14 hit attack. And what I really liked, I know you loved it, the way the Pirates attacked that fastball. Yeah, they really went after it. Uh, yeah, I was touching on that several times yesterday before the game and during the game that uh, I'd like to see us be a little more aggressive in this fastball, sit on it, and then not just go after it, but actually get that ball put in play. And uh, they certainly did that uh, in a big way in yesterday's ball game. Uh, banging out a bunch of base hits, a lot of line drives on that pitch. Uh, anytime they got a good fastball to hit, they at least took a real nice pass at it. And, and it's something you love to see. You look at these numbers. Uh, these are numbers reflect when the ball is put in play. And they're hitting 347 when they put either the first or second pitch in play. 532 slugging percentage. Compare that to what they're doing later in the count. That's not too good. That's why I think this club really needs to be aggressive, especially against the fastball. Our Jimmy John's freaky fresh take from Bob Walk, who again liked uh, the Pirates attacking early. We'll see if they do that today against Josh Lindblom, Derek Holland on the mound for the Pittsburgh Pirates. We're feeling another W today. The Pirates were having some fun at the ballpark last night. See if we can't make it two in a row. Pirates, Brewers from PNC Park coming up next. Derek Holland looks to make it two in a row. He made his Pirates debut against the Milwaukee Brewers. July 28th, the opening homestand of this abbreviated season. And there's the veteran left-hander who recently got some work in out of the bullpen. Been so long since his last start. Ryan Reynolds. Maybe uh, last night was his bust out game. Three for four, four runs driven in. Scored three. And that, that really looked a lot like the uh, Reynolds we saw most of last year. And uh, Derek Holland, Bob, he's been uh, pretty much as advertised. The Brewers are 11 and 13. And Ryan Braun will lead things off as the designated hitter. He'll be followed by Christian Yelich and Keston Hira. Jed Jerko will hit cleanup for Milwaukee. Vicial Garcia is in center. Manny Pena behind the plate. Luis Arias is the, the uh, third baseman tonight with Mark Mathias playing right. And the shortstop hitting ninth is Orlando Arcia. And Holland has good numbers uh, against the Brewers in his career. His ERA is uh, up there because of that one game. But this is... Uh, Really the third week of April. Pretty impressive that a veteran uh, would be willing to go, to take that hit, just stay out there. And 112 pitches, pitching into the sixth inning that night against the Tigers. Break out the rest of the Pirates defensively. Brought to you by Honda. Cole Tucker makes the start again in center. Gregory Polanco is in right. J.T. Riddle at third base, second start there as a Pirate. Eric Gonzalez at short. Adam Frazier, Josh Bell on the right side, and Jacob Stallings. Starting for the sixth time the last seven games. Josh Bell back at first base. He and uh, Colin Moran essentially been flip flopping that position. Off walk. Derek Shelton has this RAV4 starting lineup. Eric Gonzalez leads off again. And then it's Adam Frazier back up from the eighth spot. Josh Bell hits third. Colin Moran, the cleanup hitter. Brian Reynolds mentioned uh, four RBIs tying his career high last night. Gregory Polanco. Continues to struggle. Cole Tucker makes the start at center. J.T. Riddle, Jacob Stallings. Josh Lindblom had his Brewers debut cut short here at PNC Park. Back in July, July 28th, the same day that Derek Holland made his Pirates debut. 